Autumn. I'm one of the trainers at Highline Athletic Club. And if you just watched the first segment, we did a video about how to choose whether or not you should eat a particular food. So that is the most common question people come to me with is, Autumn, should I eat this? So I'm gonna go through some actual examples with different foods on how I make that decision so that you can actually um, look at a food and, and have something to really relate to instead of just listening to me talk. And the first ones I wanna go through are actually whole foods. And again, it's the easiest decision, but I'm gonna talk about nuts and seeds. And nuts and seeds can be modified even though they're still in their, essentially in their original state. I mean, it's still a nut or a seed, but it can be roasted, it can be salted, it can be modified some way. And that is one that really throws people off. So for example, we have some roasted and salted sunflower seeds. Now sunflower seeds on their own are fabulous. But when you roast and salt them, it actually changes the good fats that are in there. It actually makes them go rancid. And you wouldn't know that, but it completely changes the nutritional quality of the food. Maybe not on the label, the way it's written out as far as what's in there, but let me tell you, this is not a health food. Okay, it has been roasted and salted and it's not the one you wanna buy. Now, the almonds that I have here, they are dry roasted and unsalted. And you think, well, that sounds great. There's no extra oil added to them, there's no salt, and they taste great. But unfortunately, because they were commercially roasted, again, that high heat process and the period of time between the time that it was roasted and the time it got to you has very likely turned the good fats in here bad. So they're rancid. So again, this is not the option you wanna buy. The really good home alternative is to buy a raw nutter seed, like this raw sunflower seed called a pepita is another name for it. And you can dry roast it at home. And because you don't do that for a very long period of time and you are doing it in your own home, you'll consume it pretty quickly and you're, you're in control of when you stop roasting it. So eating it raw is a great idea as a snack or on a salad. Um, and also you can dry roast them in a dry skillet um, at home or in the oven. Now we also have raw walnuts. And again, you want to see that it actually says raw. And you may not be able to see that in the video, but it should say raw on it. And when you read the ingredients, this says organic walnuts. There's nothing else in there, no extra salt, no extra oil. So that talks about some ways that whole foods can be modified so that they're not as good as they once were. Um, now we have a lot of categories of food, and we're going to divide this video into segments so that we can keep it a little bit short and sweet, um, but you have something to come back to when you have time to keep learning more about what we're talking about. So the next category is juices. People love juices, and they just feel like they're doing something so healthy when they drink them, but there's more to the story. So I have a couple examples here of a better option for a juice, and again, really ideally want to eat the whole food. You want to get all the nutrients and the fiber and all the phytochemicals out of it. But if you're going to buy a juice, you want to look for one that says 100% juice. So everything that's in there is juice. There's nothing um, altered, contrived, modified. It's, it's juice. Um, so we have a couple different options. Again, this one says 100% juice blend. This one, while it really looks the same, you scour this label it does not say 100% juice and unless you see those words not your best option and again just keep in mind that juice is juice it doesn't have all the fiber it's really just the sugar that's why it tastes so good but if you're gonna drink it get the 100% juice okay so that covers um, our nuts and seeds and our juices and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit more about some cereals crackers and chips thank you